Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am in my shed, but it's not ready yet. So I'm gonna stand by the window so you guys can see anything. But it's almost done. It's almost done and I am pumped. Like I am so excited and I'm ready to create, but I want to finish making the shed more personalized, more me. And I have loved paper cranes since I was in the fourth grade. I love them. They bring back good memories and I'm going to make some, so let's do this. Poof. Done. <laughs> just kidding. No. This is what a paper crane is, just in case you all didn't know. And I had made this before, but I'm not sure I want to paint it all individually. So, I have a different idea. I have a different idea. I got some paints on a palette. I picked out some colors earlier. Got some neon and some like medium blue and some turquoise teal color. It's acrylic and I already started some. I just got my paintbrush wet like so in the water. My little Perkins cup. I'm gonna dip it. And we need some yellow. And I'm just gonna flash. Oh no, it's still blue. Still blue. Still wet. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, so some yellow. And poo. It's green. I wonder why. What colors does yellow and blue make? <laughs> Let's wipe that off. And get some water, some more yellow. Okay, we're just gonna do green for a third color. It don't look too bad anyway, and then we'll redo the yellow, cause I really like that. I like that green too though, it's very vibrant. Vibrant, vibrant. See it? It's pretty. I really wish uh, camera, ooh, yeah, there we go. I really wish cameras picked up the color like you're actually doing. That would be awesome. But for some reason it doesn't, like when I was painting my walls in here for my upcoming shed video, uh, my, here's a spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Uh, they are like a teal and on camera they look like super 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 blue which i don't mind kind of wish i would have painted that, that color in the first place after seeing it on the camera but it's not it's not that color Let's see what this is ooh 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 pretty 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 i hope these don't all stick together but we'll see Splash, 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 splash. Okay, and get some blue. I'm gonna have to scrub these tables down. Hey, I don't know if y'all knew this or not. Hi, can you see me? Hi. So, when I was painting my shed, uh, I got like house paint on my floor, and I couldn't get it off because like it had dried. But I used an SOS pad and grease lightning, and it worked fantastic. So, just, yeah, a little piece of knowledge. A little piece of something I learned. There, that's pretty. Let's add more blue to these ones. Let's let it all dry and get stuck together. You hear that? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to drag you guys through this whole thing, so I'm going to finish these up, and then I will be back. Alright, I am back, and while the other ones are drying, I thought I would show you these. Just like a simple little splatter on all of them. Simple, basic, but I think it'll look cute once it's done. So, I'm going to flip these over, and I'm going to take this corner... And pull all the way to the edge so you have a nice point. Okay. 
Okay. Make your creases nice and straight, like harsh lines. We're going to cut this off to make a square. Okay. First step done. <laughs> Pretty easy. Okay, we're going to open it up and we're going to turn it and we're going to fold the opposite end upwards. All the way to the point. So I'm making like 12 of these. So this should be fun and time consuming. <laughs> okay, I'm going to open it up and then make it where it's a square. And we're going to fold it up to the corners again. Nice and crisp lines. Okay, we're going to open it and we're going to fold it this way. Okay. Nice and crisp. All right. So now we're going to open it. And we're going to take one of these little squares. And we're going to tuck it in. Like so. And I just like mush this part down. And then it's nice and crisp. Okay. And you're going to do it to the other side. Come on, camera. Work with me. You good? There we go. I don't know. There we go. Y'all are going to see parts of my shed. We are not supposed to be seeing because it's supposed to be a secret on my big shed reveal video. But don't tell nobody what you've seen, okay? Because it's top secret. Okay. So you should have, after you fold those both done, you should have like this mouth looking thing. You're going to go to the one side, the open part facing you. You're going to go to this side, and you're going to fold it to that crease right down the middle. Okay? It should look like that. You're going to make a kite. Do it on the other side. Flip it over. And do the same thing. have a kite. Okay, now you're going to take the top of it and you're going to fold it down. Flip it over and do the same thing. Nice and flush. Okay, open that back up. And you're going to open this back up. And you're going to have a big mouth again okay and you're going to go to your first crease and go all the way to the top you're going to go to this crease fold it all the way down and on the bottom too okay make sure you get it right on the line and go do that on the other side. I don't know if I hear a big truck or thunder. Like I would be okay with a thunderstorm as long as the electricity doesn't go out. I, okay, so like, I'm 32, right? <clears throat> and I used to love, oh, sorry. So you did this side, looks like a big banana man. You flip it over, and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. But when I was younger, like, I was terrified of thunderstorms. And when I got older, and I love them. But now, I've turned into a big chicken again. I don't like bad storms. Like, I love a good summer storm with a little bit of lightning and a little bit of thunder, but if there is any threat of, like, severe weather, I will just automatically go into prayer mode. I don't want to do it. I don't want to deal with it. It scares me. 
Okay, so you got a little banana man. You're going to open up one side and you're going to fold it over to like the middle of the banana man. And the other side. All the way down, nice and crisp, like all the other folds. Flip it over, and you're gonna do the same thing. Okay, that one's a little bit messy, but it's okay. Alright, so now we got a skinny banana man. See that little banana man? All right, now we're gonna take his legs and make him do the splits. All right, sideways, okay? Cross it out a little bit, smooth this down, okay? And then we're gonna open it up on this side and fold him all the way up. And then fold your little legs. Let them fold in half. Okay. And then on the other side. Same thing. And you're going to pinch the bottom. And pull what is going to be the neck out. And then the tail. Now you ask, Jessica, how do you know which one's the head? Because one's always messed up, and then I just decide to make the messed up one the head. It makes sense that way. Okay, and then I just fold it down. Sorry, I just look like that. See what I mean? It's a head. Okay, and then you open up its wings and you find it's butt and you blow air up it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a baby cane. Ain't that so cute? I might make some more splashes on it, but I have to make 12 more of these things, so I will be back again. Okay, see you there. All right, so I made 10 of them. <laughs> and I want to make more color on it, like I said, because in person they look pretty bright, bright, bright and vibrant, but I wanted to pop a little bit more. So I'm going to spread these out and I'm going to throw some paint on it and then we are going to hang them up. Spread them out a little bit. Can y'all see my head? Like, you're looking right at, like, all my newfound gray hairs. Alright, I got some little paint on my palette, some more water, and a rag. Alright, let's do this. I hope y'all all can see. I think so. Big old glove on there.
we got these splashed with color. I'm gonna let them dry and then we're gonna hang them up. cut to about the length that I want to hang from my nail up in my ceiling and I got a hole puncher and all we're gonna do is just punch a hole right in the middle of this uh, <laughs> paper crane back just like that just punch a hole and then I'm going to put this through and double tie it and trim off the excess and hang it from the nail these are so vibrant. I wish you guys could see like how vibrant they are. I got dark blue, teal, and that neon yellow. Like that neon yellow in real life is so popping. I wish you could see it, I really do. It's so pretty. But I'm just gonna double tie these up and get all the string put on them, trim off the excess, hang them up, and then I will be back tedious boring work but there we go it is on there just like that good to go I'll be back all right I got them all hung up and I love them and y'all know how I said I have some really good memories of paper cranes well while I was doing like punching holes and stuff and these things um I remember the first time that I had learned, um, I paint right on my eye, it looks like a black eye. Um, the first time I learned how to make a paper crane, I came running home and I showed my brother uh, how to make them. And, he, you know, he was the older brother and he was always making like these awesome um, airplanes and I could never do it right. And he always had to make them. And, it was, it was neat to be able to teach my brother how to create something. And I taught him how, and he learned how, and just like the compliment that he gave me as my big brother just made me feel like I could accomplish anything. That, you know, I was good at something. And I just wanted to share that memory with you. But <clears throat> here's my, uh, Paper cranes. Don't look behind me at my shed. It's a big. Alright, let's turn this around. How do I do it? I don't know. There they are. Some really pretty. So, you'll see I have one bright little happy guy there. It's the only one. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Everybody deserves to stand out. But there you go. There's my little craft and decoration for the day. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you again next time. Bye!